So, um, I went to Ben Franklin this weekend and I wanted to find some creative things I can use to hold my brushes, like a brush holder. And of course, a lot of girls on YouTube made their own and you know, that's how I got inspired to do my own. So, this is how it looks. heavy. This is how it looks. Um, that's how it looks so close. Uh, yeah. That's how it looks. Floor print, ribbon. I have two different types of rocks in here. And if you look, it's actually like a little paint pail. And it's not glass, it's plastic. So, yeah, that's how my little brush holder looks. It's super cute and it holds my brushes in here. Not many brushes, but I love to collect them instead of buying them like in bulk and like 20 pieces or something. I like to slowly buy my own. So that's how my little brush holder looks. In Franklin, I got um, two brushes. These are actually art brushes that um, I bought as makeup brushes because I watched Encore and he gave some really good pointers. Um, really the trick is just to find the softest one and this one is by Win Winsor & Newton and it's a fluff brush and it's really soft. I'm not even joking. And it's beautiful and I use it for my blush. I love it um, because I used to use my Kabuki and this used to um, Oh, not used to but it packs on too much color and it's kind of hard for me to you know sweep it around because it's so compact and thick and because it's short handle I didn't really like all the buffing but with this one I can like sweep it better and it has a much lighter application which is really great and my second one I got it's from Royal Crafters Choice it is so cute. It even has this little grippy thing like pencil zoo. So cute. Um, it is again soft. There's a lot of brushes, art brushes that were really really hard and you could just tell it wasn't good for your skin but I picked the most two soft ones. The two most soft ones let me say. Um, I use this one for highlight. It is so beautiful and it fits you know right into your cheekbone for contouring. And I love it. Um, the prices, this was like $12. 12 to 14 I can't remember. 14 at the highest. And then this one was like $16. So, yeah. Good, good prices. Because I needed new facial brushes. And I'm still in love with them. Not because they're really, you know, good. But because they're a really good price. So, just stay tuned, I'll show you how to make my little own custom brush holder. Okay guys, so here's my little brush holder. Um, I got this pail from Ben Franklin for about $5. It's plastic and there's this pail on the bottom there. But it is super cute because, you know, it's clear and you can put anything you want on it. And it's put any different color rocks you want to put in there. But I already had purchased these clear rocks here. So these clear rocks I got from Walmart and those are ones I have in here. And the bottom rocks are actually star rocks which came from my graduation party which I had some leftover. So... The bottom up to here has star rocks, and these are the thinner, not thinner, smaller clear rocks. Because you don't want your rocks to be too thick, because then when you stick a brush in, it will, it will, you have to like push it down more. But I like this because it's easy to push down here at the top, but when you really want to anchor it, you kind of push it more down and it's pretty much stuck there. Um, this floral print that you see on here is also from Ben Franklin. 
If you go to any really like arts and crafts store, especially like a um, scrapbooking store, you'll find these prints. And this was only 99 cents for this whole sheet of paper. This whole entire sheet of paper. See, I only cut up that much. But you get a whole entire print, front and back. leave that there um this ribbon I also got from Ben Franklin it was $2.99 it was like a special because it's for Easter but the colors are the exact same colors as this print so I wanted to change the print up I keep the same colors so all I did was tie it in a bow and it stays on top because of this little the handle so it won't slump down. So I simply just tied that on. As for the paper, this is two and a half inches. And I cut it all around. Use some clear tape. Let's see, some clear tape here to just tape it on. And you can kind of see some tape there, but I put it in the back, of course. So I put this little pale thing in the back, turn it around, put all my rocks in there. That's pretty much it. Not very hard. You can add anything you want. I wanted to add a little butterfly, but it kind of took away from the bowl. But you can put rhinestones, whatever print you want. There's this really cute animal print. I was tempted to get it, but didn't. Oops. So as you can see, it's really easy to slide it down, but then when you get to the bottom, you kind of anchor it. So it fits a ton of my brushes, face brushes in the back. And then start off with my MAC eye brushes. Kind of put the bigger ones in the back. You know, it looks really pretty if you put the little MAC symbol in the front. Blending brush, fluff brush. Pencil brush, and if they kind of move around, just you know, adjust them. Not that hard. You could obviously use like thinner rocks, colored rocks, or pebbles, I should call them. There are tons in like different colors, but I wanted to keep mine simple with the clear. And uh, add my little spoolie. So that's how it looks. how my little brush holder looks. It's a simple pail. Um, all together, I would say, let's see, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight dollars for the pail, paper, and the ribbon. And then the rocks are super cheap wherever you get them from. So just a little neat brush holder. You can go and make another one to hold uh, maybe eye pencils okay guys so that was my brush holder I hope you guys like it um I know some people like to use like glass ones but this was so much cheaper because it was just a plastic pail and it holds a bunch of brushes remember again I put a custom print so that's another way to customize it instead of plain glass and yeah oh and if you guys are wondering what what my shirt says why it says Je Adore Kitty. It's a Hello Kitty shirt. So cute. Blue and yellow. I got it from Razor Concepts in Oahu, Almoana. Oh no, Pearl Ridge, sorry. Anyways, yeah, that's my brush holder. I hope you guys like it. Remember, make it your own and no one else will have it but you. So, thanks you guys for watching. Bye.